advice that you would like to share? If you're going to decide. All right. Welcome to today's discussion with a young man that is pursuing his AMP. I believe he's halfway through the program. I would like to hear and share with you some of the pros and cons that he has had during his journey towards his A&P, and also a little bit about himself. So let's dive right into it. If you would, just go ahead and share whenever you were first interested in pursuing your A&P and how you got to where you are now. I started pursuing my A&P rating about May of 2019, when I got put on board by one of my friends that started his A&P rating in 2014. Okay. And he and I was where I was at in my point in my life. He told me I should go take the tour, check it out, and see if I like it. Because I was jumping from job to job and laid off at a point, reduced hours, or just changing jobs and not having the same rate of pay or just more. So that was a part of my decision. I jumped on board after the tour and I did some research at home and I was pretty enlightened about the future of change, my current situation. I've been on board ever since then. Awesome. Awesome. So where are you at in your journey, I guess, as far as I believe you're halfway through. Is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty much halfway through about like five months left, a little more than halfway, about five months left. During your studying, I believe maybe towards your airframe, I think you've went through right now. You've had that's been more of a challenge, you know, going through the process of, you know, I guess the first half. So I would say the first half would be um, having to study for a certain amount of things since my school allows us to take the uh, to take the FA exam every section you pass towards general so like a struggle for me was having to take general and studying for the current class I'm in and studying for uh airframe class so having to study for those two big things passing a class and pass the exam is the biggest challenge Pretty much, I would be finished up all the general classes and eligible to take my FAA exam for general. Yeah. But I'm referring, trying to pass that current class as well. So studying for two things in that. No, I got gotcha. you. Trying to do multiple things at once is uh, sometimes a big challenge. Or it, it's always a challenge. Uh, what's a couple of things that you would say that were helpful that you found in your study and it was helpful you could maybe share with somebody else? The main thing for me up until recently a lot was reading like actually reading the uh, pages and content referring it to the diagram have an understanding of how to and reading think that helped me with that actually on your own time digging in and reading as you're saying that was the most beneficial and those books the study guides but like i that would only give me a certain understanding towards explanation that's yeah. why I better for me to get into the book and touch more on things and actually read, which helped me understand a lot more than I did when I first started the school. Yeah, I find that as well, you know, having a, a the background and having more of the why, I guess, versus just here's the answer and having a few options and trying to, I know a lot of times people um, prepare for the test and, um, you know, they, they don't really get all the I guess the nuts and bolts and the backbone of the really the why, I guess, behind it. So, uh, yeah, definitely requires reading to do that. It takes discipline. And uh, that's good that you were able to uh, do that and discipline yourself to, you know, do the reading on your own and really try to grasp more of the, um, the overall understanding of it. Right. Yeah, that was a big part because I know a lot of people, especially like in my current class, a lot of people don't really like to read or take the time out. But, you know, if you do, that's really beneficial. It would definitely pay off in the long run, especially when, you know, you're really getting situations where it's hard to deal with because maybe you don't understand why something happened or you're trying to troubleshoot simply and not having that more of a foundation that will definitely help sell later. And then you can actually be a go-to and be more of a, I guess, a leader. People can actually come to you and you can help them later on versus uh, trying to find somebody else that has a better understanding. I think it, I, I know that's definitely like a brutal part. So like, yeah, um, or practical. Oh yeah. To be able to recite certain things back that you would. Yeah, it'll definitely help in the oral and practical. I remember myself, um, it's been, I think, 13 years, but the oral and practical is huge. I think it might be two days now. Um, but just preparation for that, your nerves and just, 
you know, going into that day and having more of a foundation to where you have more to go back on to. And if you don't answer a question, you know, a lot of times people say, well, I don't know the answer, but I can find it. A lot of times that's good, but sometimes it's not. And you need to be able to, uh, I think, answer maybe something that related to it, even though it's not the right answer to kind of really show that you have a good foundation. That would be huge going into that, knowing that you've done your homework, you know your stuff. I mean, you don't have to, um, I think as an examiner, I think they can really tell and see how much time you put into it and what you really know. And uh, that would definitely make a huge difference in the, in the end, whenever you get to that point. Right. So what school are you currently in that you mentioned you have a class of other students? If you could tell us a little bit more about uh, the, uh, the class that you're in, like where is it and how often do you meet? I'm in Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Okay. Um, about Monday to Thursday, six hours a day. But ever since the um, pandemic hit with COVID, we're going back two days a week, and that's how it's going to work out. Let me share a couple of pictures here. It leads me to my question next was, is we currently do now for work while you're going through the schooling at AMP? Do you work the ramp? Or I'm, I just happened to see this picture, and uh, I just have to ask that question. So um, back in March, I started working at PMR Airlines. They work under American Airlines as their regional carrier. So I've worked there for the – I took off two months from school to work there to do their training. And then I picked up school back. And now I was, they took up classes for Zoom and I had dined from that job because all flights from COVID got pushed up to 6.30 and my school had just opened back up. And then mm-hmm. I closed back down. But it was like a fluctuation of school or work with the hours. Yeah, I can see that. It looks like you had. So I'm, I've just decided to turn down a job to work on my schooling and just get that fully done and prepare fully for the orals and practicals and my exams since it's coming down to that five month mark. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, you want to finish strong. You want to make sure you uh, get the most out of schooling you can. If there's a conflict with, unfortunately, a job that you had, then it might be the best to uh, just go ahead and buckle down and make the most of it. And, you know, you're almost there. So you'll be able to focus more on utilizing your A&P as soon as you get done versus trying to, you know, it might be hard to, if you have a Conflict in hours, you might not be getting all that you should be or you could be getting out of the school. And then you also might not be as efficient, uh, maybe unfortunately the best employee when you're working there because you're kind of, you know, divided. And if there's that conflict, the timing for sure. Changes with COVID in our school schedule where it just would keep shifting our regular lives. That makes sense. All right, Kendall, I appreciate your time. And if you have something else while we're on here to any future or current AMP students, um, do you have maybe just a couple or a line of advice that you would like to share? I would just say like, um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna decide to want to do it, don't hold off on it and just attack going to school for something that you want to do. Cause the longer you put it off, the longer you're going to take to change your future. And that's what I told me. The longer I took to want to decide to join school, the longer I was putting off something that I would could actually get great at and learn. That's good. Good stuff. All right. Again, Kendall, I want to thank you for your time today. Really appreciate your input and uh, chat in a few minutes here. If you're watching and you missed the last discussion I had with Mark Klupper. You can click on the card above and you can learn a little bit more about aircraft restoration and maybe some things you should consider if it's something you're doing or considering. And until next time, be safe and be blessed. And I will see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.